Today we're talking about signal levels, and as part of that, we have to talk about the gain stage path. And what that means is that there are different stages of gain coming from the source heading all the way to the computer. And so in this example, you can see we have the source, we have the mic. Uh, from the mic, we have our interface preamp gain, and then on into our computer. Uh, to which when we get there, we may encounter things such as the plugins themselves and the DAW fader. But as part of this, at any point or any stage in the path, we could have bad audio because of low levels or noisy levels or noisy signals um, or uh, levels that are too loud and that essentially create distortion or clipping. So anywhere along the path is an opportunity for us to have signal uh, degradation, meaning signal um, deterioration or breakup uh, in a bad way. And so the goal is to, to capture strong signals and be able to keep them healthy all the way to the computer so they can be used successfully in the post. Now, the biggest thing that I always talk about first is that starts with a strong source. Make sure your source, whether it's a guitar, a vocal, a keyboard, a piano, whatever it is, it has to have a great source sound. So, uh, you know, that first stage is all about getting great source sounds. Like, a good example is, like, if we're trying to capture a cello, um, cellos suffer from a couple of problems with their source sound. Some frequencies are a little too resonant in the cello, so we have to be very careful and mindful of them. So we have to make sure the source is, is ready and adapted to be evenly distributed across the frequencies so that our microphone can handle it. Then choosing the right mic for the application based upon the mic specs that you guys have learned, and then making sure that the preamp gain is set up in a way where we're not clipping at the gain, and that's why we have meters at the preamp. And then going into the into Pro Tools, making sure, or any other DAW, making sure that we're not clipping going into the DAW. So it's a, it's a big process, but it's very important to just be mindful of the fact that anywhere along the path, we have to make sure that the gains are looking fantastic and that level is nice and solid.